Hey there folks, welcome to this video and here I'm going to be talking about the WRC. In particular I'm going to be talking about one team, M Sport, the team that are currently sitting fourth in the Constructors Championship. And the reason I'm talking about them today is because of driver lineups. So in terms of the driver market for WRC, in terms of what's going to be happening within M Sport over the next couple of rallies, and a little bit of speculation here and there as well. If there are any sources I've used that um, are deemed somewhat applicable for it, I will put it in the description below. So let's start off with what they got for the next few rounds. Now, there hasn't really been much kind of finalization yet in regards to um, in regards to lineups for say Spain or um, for Australia, but. We're given to understand that the lineup in Turkey this week will be Pontus Tiedemann and Tamu Sidonen, with Gus Greensmith in WRC2 Pro. Then for Wales, which is what, about three weeks away now, <laughs> we will have Tamu Sidonen, Pontus Tiedemann, and the return of Elfin Evans. For the first time following the injury that he sustained in Rally Estonia. We'll also see in WRC2, or the WRC2 Pro, Hayden Patton, which will be spectacular. Honestly, um, Hayden is one of the drivers that I just want to see in sport. It'd be nice if he was able to get a drive with Hyundai, but obviously that hasn't manifested itself. It's also rubbish, something I talked about in another video where I was like, oh, he might get Rally Australia. But I'll talk about that at another time. That's because in Rally Australia, Hayden's supposed to be stepping up into a Fiesta World Rally car. Of course, getting a drive that he was supposed to have for Finland before a pre event test crash uh, ruled him out. And that'll be interesting. It, uh, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Um, like I said, he's someone who properly deserves a drive. I haven't seen any speculation in regards to someone like Gus Greensmith, though I have seen other kinds of speculation which are quite interesting. Which are that for next season, um, Malcolm Wilson is targeting, I believe, either one of Oid Tanak or Calais Repera. So two of Toyota's top targets. And I do find that interesting for a couple of reasons. One is because... Um, well, Malcolm said he wasn't going to try and do something that was going to financially have huge implications for M Sport after having done the battle to keep Auger at the team as long as he did. But also because M Sport doesn't have any confirmed drivers for next season yet. Both Temu and Elfin are out of contract. And there has been an element of saying. Both these drivers are quality drivers and they need drives. But also with the implication of but I'm not necessarily considering them for drives myself. Which I guess it's a bit of a shame really. But it's something I've talked about a lot. There are so many drivers in WRC who really deserve seats. But they can't get them. And even though we've got like newcomers like Callum Rappera coming in, we've not got people who are getting to the point where they want to retire from the sport. In fact, the only indication from anyone that there is that possibility as of this moment is Sebastian Ogier, who is contracted to Citroen for next season. So it'll be interesting. Maybe we'll see round sharing. But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw someone else getting um, a third car drive with M Sport for, uh, for Catalonia. And also, here's another suggestion. I've not gotten any kind of info on this at all, not seen any kind of speculation on this. But um, Sheikh Khalid Al Qasimi said that um, Abu Dhabi would return to um, rallying potentially next season. Now, of course. He was previously sponsoring for um, Citroen. 
which is why he was able to do some of the drives in Citroen. But remember, about 10 years ago, he um, backed him sport. So maybe there's been a switch again. We'll find that out soon enough. But I think I've kept you all for long enough already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.